Hey guys, welcome back to another video tutorial for the Nico style. And today I am going to break down Oma Tokita's technique from his Nico style, which is called the Raging Fire from the Flame Kata Techniques. Now, the Raging Fire is very different from the Flashing Fire because from the name itself, it is raging. It is used to build up momentum to strengthen your footwork and to rapidly increase the stability of your horse stance and to create space, build up momentum for bigger movements and bigger kicks and etc. Now it is still utilizing and maximizing your legs, your horse stance and your fighting stance but it is also a variation towards any type of martial arts tricking or performance or choreography because it builds up a good momentum it builds up a steady footing and also an understanding towards a launch for a bigger better faster more explosive movements so in this flame kata raging fire technique tutorial I will break down um, a couple of techniques from the Raging Fire. I will be separating it to two techniques, the stepping in and the stepping out. For the stepping in itself, there will be two techniques to utilize the motion of stepping in that I will cover soon. And after that, the step out would be a bigger approach towards building a momentum for larger movements. And I will talk about it after the breakdown of the Raging Fire step ends. So let's get into it. Now please, please pay attention. This technique is a stepping in for an offense and a defense type movement. So you have to utilize a kick at the end of every launch. So in this case, I would be using a basic hook kick. That's how it looks like. So basic hook kick is like a back kick, but it hooks the foot at the end. It is not a straight back kick, it's not a straight back push, but it's more of a hooking motion towards a snap. So there is a snap and there will be a hook and then you drop down your leg. It is a one fast twitch motion, keep that in mind. And I hope you get that down before we start the other techniques. Now. You have to keep in mind when you do the raging fire, you have to maintain a good footing. I'm gonna give you pointers here. Do not lift your toes. Do not lift your toes when you are engaging in this technique. You have to grip the ground with it. You have to be very comfortable with it. You have to be in a good footing. You have to be in your balls of your feet at all times. You have to be able to change and shift the weight and be mobile and be on your toes and be ready to change direction launch, retreat, offense, or defense. So make sure that you are in grasp of your toes. Do not, do, do not walk like a duck. Do not walk like a penguin. Walk like a, like a panther, like a, like a cat, like a cheetah. That's where you get most of the traction, most of the footing, and most, most of the um, suspension towards this movement, okay? The first technique would be this Raging Fire Step-Ins. So as you step in, you step forward towards your target, towards your target movement. Move with your legs, do not move with your shoulders, okay? You have to launch with the hind leg. Do not pull the shoulders forward. Do not move with the shoulders being the aim of the trajectory. It has no energy in that. All your energy comes from the legs. Always launch with the legs steady, firm, and in a low stance on the balls of your feet at all times. Now drill this with your boxing stance, with your MMA stance. Um, get comfortable with it. Do it alternately, left and right, left and right. And um, try to not focus on the speed, but focus on the form. I've been doing this for years. So it may look smooth on me, but it may not for you who haven't learned Taekwondo or maybe basic martial arts. 
but it takes time, okay? So drill that all the time. Drill that as often as you can. Now, the next one is called the Raging Fire Step In Anti-Clockwise because it is the opposite of where you push. So this is sort of like a pushing out, but it's still going in. In which case, I would just consider this as a step in, but an anti. So you move with the back of your shoulders moving forward. Instead of pushing forward, you push back while you pivot. It's still the same technique, it's still the same position, it's still the same motion. Now remember, the opposition movement towards the step in matters when you are trying to create a variation or create a illusion towards a fast rapid motion. So remember that it is at the essential, a same footing, a same position, a same fighting stance, but the energy that you output and the energy towards your pivot and towards the launch will be different. One is a pushing to the forward and one is the pushing to the backwards. Translate that very well. It's not spinning, okay? It's not just spinning like a ballet dancer. It is a stepping. The speed comes in when you have mastered the technique, when you are comfortable with the footing. You can't just bang in on speed. It does not work that way. Understand the footing, understand the launch, understand the mechanism towards your body, okay? That is very important. Now we're going to learn the step outs. So this part of your body is the in, and the opposite is the out. That would be the understanding and the basics knowledge. So as you step out, you move to the side and come into close back to your fighting stance. Again, fighting stance, out and in. So it's a two motion. You have to open and then you cover. Open and cover. So you find angles, you evade, and you close back in. In here, you have covered your, your front part with your shoulders. You can always do a hook. You can always strike back, but you always have to make sure that you cover your body again. So you close it in after the movement. You gain range, you gain space, you gain area, while at the same time, you attract opponent by, or at least a, in a choreography stance, you attract an openness towards your body, but after that, defend it again. So it is a pulling and a pushing by utilizing space, utilizing steps, while at the same time, maximizing the stability of the foot, the stability of the stance. It is, by the end of the day, a footwork. It is, by the end of the day, a movement. It's a lot more defensive than offensive, but it is a part of retracting the attention. So imagine you are trying to evade after an attack. Imagine you're trying to evade after a, a bluff. You have to find a space where you're less likely to, to be, you know, approached easily. So you have to cover your body again. You have to cover your body as quickly as possible which means that try, as you run away, as you move out, keep moving and keep covering yourself. Find a new angle, find a better position, and keep the eye on the target, keep the eye on where you're supposed to go. Make sure that you're not confusing yourself. Make sure that you understand that stepping out is a way to open a movement, and you have to cover it again you have to close it. So the step out is a start, but then back to the position would be an ideal usage towards the step out. The step out is just a stepping stone towards another position. So remember that, don't just step out for no reason. You have to step out and finish through, step out and follow through other techniques. It is a small, minute, um, technique but it matters towards other new movements because it is 
again a stepping stone and a different form of opening a different utilizing of speed of position of space you have to make sure that you're comfortable you're strong and you understand where to put your body afterwards and the key here is to always go back to your fighting stance okay so now the drills can vary you can use it as um, a boxing and kicking type drill or you can just focus on the kicks um, try to mix up mix it up step in step in anti-clockwise and then step outs all this combined will create a beautiful harmonious movement especially if it falls through with a kick now there are no limitations here after a step out and a step in you can still pivot you can still have another extra steps to cover up the position to to make a comfortable position towards your target towards your movement it's fine it has it is not rigid it is not um, strict but you have to emphasize on understanding the step ins and step out first so that you're comfortable in moving in a pattern in moving in a system while at the same time utilizing the system towards your creativity okay play with it have fun with it um, use the hook kick sparingly if you focus on the kick too much it becomes a kicking drill if you focus on the footwork more that means it's a footwork drill so make sure that it ends with the hook kick just to emphasize on the purpose of the movement now because there's a lot more feel and a lot more sense towards this technique try doing it with your eyes closed try getting comfortable with the choreography of steps the intersections the um, spin the uh, change of pace of the movement by feeling it more now i will go full throttle here this is how i would utilize the nico style of raging fire towards my drills enjoy